Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've been asked to spend a couple of minutes sharing with you 40 years of uh, entrepreneurial experience in the high-tech industry. And let me begin by saying it really starts with product. And I have the utmost respect for people that develop great technology in terms of great products. My uh, contribution over the years has been primarily in the sales piece, and that's where my passion is. Uh, certainly, having been in sales for 40 years, been CEO of companies, and really kind of understand what works and doesn't work. And let me just begin by saying, once again, product's critical. Until you figure out how to sell that product to customers, how to get distribution set up, how to get partnerships set up, you really don't have anything. And you'll need to do all that until you walk in some morning and they're in the line in the lobby to buy your product. And to be honest with you, that's never happened to me. I've always had to go out and find them. So start with the product. How big a solution do you provide customers? How big is the problem you're trying to solve? It's got to be pretty big because you're after narrow IT budgets and you're competing with Cisco and Oracle and all these other guys for a piece of that budget. So you have to be solving a pretty big problem. Secondly, is it an enterprise product? Is it a consumer product? You have to think really long and hard. How do I set up my channels of distribution? Who do I have as partners? You have to remember as CEO, you may have great salespeople and great sales VP, but you're the number one salesperson for the company. So whether it's the product, whether it's the company, you're always selling. So when you set up partnerships and you think about distribution, Really, it's important on partners because you're gonna ask them to build an ecosystem around your product. You're gonna ask them to take your product into market, into customers, into channels. So you have to make sure you have the right partners, that you make the right commitment to them, trading them, developing their salespeople, really positioning the product well. And picking great partners has a lot of benefit, obviously moving the product. But secondly, when it comes time to fundraise, which you should always be doing, partners can be a source of fundraising. And ultimately, when you elect to exit, potential partners could also be an acquiring partner. They could acquire the company and make the acquisition. But you can't just show up to somebody and say, buy my product, buy my company. You have to have relationships and you have to have developed those relationships over time. So that's really what I want to leave you with is as a CEO, your number one salesperson, and you, whether it's raising money for the company, whether it's selling product, whether it's just talking to people about what you do, you're the person that the company looks to leadership for and they really look for inspiration and motivation and drive. So I hope this has helped. I hope it's uh, kind of given you what you wanted. um, I look forward to reading about great success from all of you folks.